completed this makeup look today just keep watching of course i first started with my p louise base in the shade rumor zero and just spread that lightly all over my eyelid and then took a morphe flathead brush spreading that all over all the way up to my eyebrow and then afterwards going in with the beauty blender and blending it out And once I finished blending that out, I got into my Juvia's Place palette and I used a Morphe M506 brush, dipping into that orange at the top and then combining it with the orange at the top, the darker orange from the James Charles palette, and then just packing it onto my crease. Now I just started my outline like this and then of course I went back and darkened it up using the same two colors. And once I finished with that, I got into my James Charles palette using that lighter orange at the top right there and just blending it out around the edge. And I blended it out very lightly. I didn't take it high up. I kind of kept it in that circular shape like so. And once I was finished blending those two colors together, I got back into my James Charles palette, took that yellow right there, and just smoked it out using a Morphe M441 brush and just kept on blending it and blending it and smoking out the edge just like so. Once I finished blending at the edge, I got back into those two oranges from the Juvia's palette and James Charles, and I just went and darkened that crease up a little bit more so that way that color would pop out since it kind of got blended away. And just keep on blending it in like that. Once I blended those two colors in together, I decided to go into my Morphe 3503 palette and took that orangey color and decided to also add that onto my crease area because it was really bright and I really liked the way it looked and I just lightly blended it out until I liked the way it looked. And once I finished blending those colors together, I just took my makeup remover and a Q-tip and began cutting my crease shape. And I just kept doing that until I was satisfied with the way it looked and I had all the makeup removed from my eyelid. And of course, once I finished that, I just went back in with my P. Louise base in the same shade Rumor Zero, and I just packed that on to my lid, which I had just cut out, and just begin packing it on and blending it out like so. And once I was finished actually shaping it out with the base, I just dipped into my James Charles palette, that first light nude at the top, and just began packing it over that base I just laid. And once I finished laying down that first nude color, I got back into my Morphe 3503 palette and I dipped into a brighter red that was next to that orange color that I had used and I just began packing that onto the edge and very lightly blending that in and smoking it inwards into the crease that I had just made. So lightly packing it on there and blending it out. And then of course I dip back into it just to give it more color and make it more pigmented. And I just repeated that step until I liked the way it looked. And then once I finished that, I dipped back into that orangey color I used earlier in that same Morphe palette. And I just blended that lightly into that red I had just packed on. Just blending it into that and then lightly blending it out to give it more of a blended gradient effect on my eyelid.
And once I finished that, I just took some makeup remover and I just removed the excess fallout I had underneath my eye and just cleaned it up a bit. And then after I was finished cleaning it up, I just went in with my NYX black liner and I just made my wing. And sorry if you can't see it that well, I was trying my best to face the camera and do it at the same time, but it was hard. But basically that was the last step. I just finished my face makeup and got dressed and yeah, that was the completed look. Okay, and this is the completed makeup look, you guys. I honestly love how this came out. I normally don't wear um, colors like this just because... I don't know, I just usually don't, but I can definitely see myself now wearing more like oranges and colors like this. I feel like this color scheme just went together and they blended together so beautifully. And this can be kind of a simple um, everyday makeup look if you wanted to switch in the colors with like browns and nudes. Or this could easily be like going out night on the town makeup look, you know? But yeah. I feel like everything just went together beautifully. I did do my eyeliner a little bit more dramatic just because the lashes I'm wearing, yeah, get into it. But <laughs> look how popping they are. They are so big and so beautiful. I'm living for them. But yeah, that's definitely why I did my eyeliner a little bit more dramatic than what I would normally wear it. And I just feel like it all just blends together so well. I'm really really happy with this look and i feel like this look is um more friendly like beginner friendly compared to some of my other looks i have on here this is just kind of like a basic cut crease look just a little bit extra because the different colors i use and of course the eyeliner and the um, eyelashes but if you just wanted to do the simple eyeshadow look with no liner you could easily like do that and it would look just as good but yeah look at that I really enjoyed this look and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my next video and I'll see you guys later. Bye!